The advancement of mobile technology, social networking and cloud computing have revolutionized the way we connect, share and communicate with each other. It has become crucial for businesses to effectively manage and utilize data for greater leverage and this was a central theme of the Gartner IT conference. Yeah, so this conference we're uh, trying to position with um, everybody here in South Africa the importance of the changes that are happening in the IT industry, which centers around four forces. It centers around what's happening with the evolution of cloud, which is really industrialization of IT, uh, the evolution of what's happening with social networking and collaboration, which is changing the way companies are structured and how IT is used in companies. It's what mobility is doing to uh, change how we interact as human beings and also how products are now connected to the internet. Uh, and then lastly, it's about the strategic value of information, the fact that information is really the asset that many companies today are looking at how they exploit better. It's in the industry called big data and it's really generating a lot of interest in terms of how we use technology differently. Referred to as the industrialization of data, tech buffs see cloud computing as a phenomenon that will revolutionize IT service delivery and networking capabilities. And the easiest way to think about it is simply to think about who does the work. You know, is there work being done by your own people in your own building or your own company, or is the work being done by someone else who is a specialist at that work and who is aggregating all that work for everyone? You know, so. That's a layman's way of thinking about it is to say I go to the, the cloud just to get streaming video. I don't know exactly where it's coming from or what technology is delivering it, but I know what video I want to see and I know whether it comes to me in a nice stream or, and I know how much it costs. That's essentially it, a model where someone else delivers technology-based solutions to a base of customers who just want to use it and not build it. When businesses ask us how do we get ready for the cloud, we, we always say, you know, what do you want to do with it first? Because it's like in any service business, whether it be restaurants or airlines or hospitals or anything, you have to know what you're looking for from them before they can figure out how to deliver the service. You see, in the cloud, it's the same thing. If you're a business that's looking to uh, move technology from your data center, you're not going to go to a SaaS provider, a software as a service provider, because they deliver applications. And if you're going to a software as a service provider, you have to know what kind of application you need. You know, what are you trying to do? Revolutionize your human resources, your financial planning, your taxing, whatever, you have to know what it is. Or like going to a restaurant, you could go to a fish restaurant and order steak. Your experience won't be the best. For Africa to benefit from the fast-paced evolution of IT, an efficient communication system is crucial. Governments around the continent have an important role to play in providing infrastructure so that ICT can become a fundamental component of African society. This is Thomas Marie reporting from Cape Town, South Africa.